We're getting down to the big money time of the G1 Climax 28. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Kelly along with Rocky Romero. This is your pregame show. It's our second of back-to-back -back events here in the Adion Arena in Osaka. Tonight, it's the A Block. We'll talk about it in a second, but we can't start, and we will have some spoilers. So we forgive you in advance if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, shut, it, shut this thing off right shut now. Shut it. How about last night? Oh, oh my, God. my God, Kenny Ishii. Kenny Ishii, what a war. Naito and Ibushi, another war. I mean, it just gets better every night. I don't know what to do. I can't handle it Yeah, anymore. I know. It was it, the most spectacular night of action. But as we said, spoilers. Uh, because of Ishii's victory now and Kota Ibushi's victory, that means uh, Omega, Ibushi, and Naito all still mathematically alive. Have a chance. Anybody's got a chance yeah. at this point right there. And uh, each, each block with, uh, with two matches remaining. So tonight it's the A block. And there's another three men. There's three that, that are still alive. A chance there. Which could, this thing. which could change after tonight. Tanahashi sits atop the block mm -hmm. and right behind him, two points back, both switchblade and Kazuchika Okada. Tonight, it's Tanahashi versus Elgin. Mm -hmm. It's Switchblade versus Makabe, mm -hmm. and Okada versus Evil. Oh, by the way, Evil pulled the upset right here in this building last year. So out of those three, mm -hmm. who is more likely to fall tonight? I think Okada's got the toughest challenge, definitely, in this tonight. Elgin is hurt, yes. so that helps Tanahashi's chances, and Makabe is, is in a bit of a slump, so I would say that Switchblade has a great chance. So I, that's that's where I'm going. I mean, I think my my dude, the Raymaker, he's gonna have a tough night. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. It uh, and of course Tanahashi uh, and Okada meet on the final night of the block uh, coming up in Budokan, and Kenny Omega is somehow gonna have to recover. Now we don't have a medical update right now on Omega's condition, but he did not look good at no, the end of that his, match. His lip like was, it looked like it exploded. Yeah. That's all I can say. I'm not a medical doctor, but no, that didn't look good. There's no other good way to describe right. it. Um, and again, we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of tonight's event and the rest of the ride here. So tonight we wrap up in Osaka, then a couple of days off, then we've got Yokohama, and then the final three. Big match there, Sonata versus oh, Naito. And we've got the <laughs> the final three nights in Budokan. I'm um... <laughs> Now, let me ask you a question. That's all I got. Last night, you were in the Paradise Lock, courtesy of Sonata. Uh, thank you for helping me I did. and getting Milano, because Milano's the only guy who has the keys. I know. It was... Uh, Appreciate that. Thank God he was there. Otherwise, thank, you'd still oh be... My, I know. I'd oh, still be there. I would have slept there. I know. Well, anyway, just stay in your seat tonight, please. I, I plan to. I just plan to call the action with yes. you, and that's about it. We got our hands full with that. Yeah. So, we're going to get underway. Uh, bell time today is 3 p.m. local time, which is 2 a.m. on the East Coast. You're going to stay up late. It is 11 p.m. Pacific. Ooh, we're so, home. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, right in the middle of the the uh, late morning, I guess it would be for the for the fans in the UK. So it's a it's a great time to watch. Everybody should tune in live. And Rocky and I will be at ringside calling all the action. A block tonight. Don't you dare miss it. Pre-game show here. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. NJPWWorld.com. And no paradise locks for me today, please. Ever. Ever. See you guys soon. <laughs>